Good morning. Another one, another good one. <laughs> Many thanks, Mrs. H. So welcome to Sunday. I hope uh, when you're watching this, you're having a good start to the day or you've had a good day, dependent on where you are in the world when you're watching it. Uh, if it's Sunday at all, it might be Monday, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I'm very grateful you're here. Thanks for your company. Um, right, one, two, three new products, in, four new products in this. Um, two I've bought and two I've been sent. Now, the first one is this, and I'm very excited about this. Um, you may have seen videos on this, so you may not. Mag T razors. And this is the, the Delta razor. Very different and very unique. Um, Canadian based company. And uh, it comes in a box like this. There's the. Uh, I like this, uh, this card because it's. You know, for somebody who bought this, maybe is not used to shaving has some unique features this that's like a um, how-to little card there explaining everything on the razor um, it's a very unique razor looks different it's a zinc alloy with chrome plated coating or chrome plated I should say let's take it out oh and it comes with the <laughs> thanks for the free blade <laughs> That's very kind. I'm not using them today. So, let's have a look if you can see this. Mag T, there's You can see the camera, can't you? Mag T, that's the head. No overhang. It's all enclosed. It's a two piece, non adjustable open comb razor. Magnetic. And the power on these magnets, see them in the middle there? And they're meant to be a is it a rare magnet or something? Um, I can't remember, was it Earth Neutral? Or, I can't remember, something anyway. If you, if you go to the website in the description, they go into great detail um, with this razor. Uh, they've also got a YouTube channel, I'll put that up, because they've put a, a few how-to videos and stuff like that showing this. And um, Very unique, uh, maybe a Marmite razor for some, they may like it and some may not. I like anything, like the future, uh, different heavy aggressive and this is certainly different i love the look of it it's uniqueness there's some lined knurling on the handle to hold it there now when you hold this you'd probably want to hold it like that and shave like that but that's not how i would oh watch this watch this <whistles> strong that'll never come off keep the blade straight on um so say i was shaving i would hold it like that Personally, and it feels okay like that in the hand for me quite well balanced um, Sort of a triangulated handle there so I'm going to go with the blade a Gillette Nasset brand new Yeah, so thank you to uh, mag T razors and they contacted me on um, Instagram and we had a, a to and fro with a couple of messages in there they asked if I'd like to try it, and I thought, yeah. As soon as I seen it, I love anything. Like, if you know me, I love stuff like this anyway. Um, so, magnetic. And there's two slots on there, which hold it, oh, hold it right. Hold the blade, if you see them, one, two, and it's magnetic, as I say. And then the blade, that goes on top. And that's it, solid. Absolutely amazing. Blade exposure is good. Is it aggressive? I don't know. It could be, looking at that angle. Uh, very excited about this. Right, so that was something I've been sent. The second thing I've been sent... <laughs> Global Shave Club. Thank you, Sheldon. Um, this is Shaving Innovation. Chocoholic. You may have seen videos on this as well. Um, now, I don't know if I'm wrong here, but I'm sure I've featured this. And I'll tell you why. Because when I opened it, I thought, hang on, that's, looks, that looks uh, <laughs> recognisable to my... the so, Two samples I had there, uh, two little pots of uh, soap I've been sent by uh, Pearl Flexi with their razor. 
Um, one was like a coffee hop or something, coffee, chocolate, hoffy or something like that, coffee and chocolate. And it's the image of it. Now, I'm guessing that's made in India, and I know Global Shave Club have um, a place where they make their razors over there. So it could be made in the same factory, the same soap, but for different companies. I think, I don't know, but it's very similar to that, if not the same soap. So, beautiful scent if you like it. To me, it's like Cadbury's chocolate, hot chocolate drink, you know, that smell, that beautiful smell. Um, again, some people may not like chocolate scented soaps. <laughs> I don't mind. Quite a pleasant scent in the morning. Um, the fine porcelain bowl, I've put some of the bottom. It looks a lot, doesn't it? But it, I've put a blob in the middle and then I spread it out in there. And a new, well, I bought a new brush stand for myself from Edwin Jagger. This is the large, sort of clear version. Because at the end of the shaves, I, I've got a metal one over there, but this is the new brush I've bought from Edwin Jagger. Um, this is a, a imitation tortoiseshell handle with a 21 millimeter black synthetic knot. Um, as I say, 21 millimeter. The loft is 50 millimeter. The handle on its own is 45 millimeter and the whole thing is 95 millimeter. Now, how sad is that? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but at the end of the shaves, it's always good to... I rinse the brush thoroughly and then I dry it with a towel, sort of dry it as much as I can. Then I leave it like that uh, for about 24 hours and then put it back on the shelf or wherever it's going. But that's the brush we're going to use. That has been cleaned and, you know, sanitised and all that. In the comments, someone asked, uh, I, can't remember, I think someone's answered it correctly. So thank you if you answered the question, the comment. Um, it was, uh, how do you sanitise your brushes, new or old? All I do is get a bar of antibacterial hand soap hold it in my hand and lather the brush into the antibacterial soap get a good thick lather on it and leave it for five ten minutes and then rinse it out in warm water and while we're doing that I'll do this so here we go um, yeah it was a good soap this for I remember it certainly smells nice and um, I just do that I may do it a couple of times and then leave it dry or and then if it's if it's got if it's a ball brush especially but I had a badger brush that was uh, just a bit of a sort of a smell to it so I lathered up with a strong scented soap and uh, that tamed it right down but as I say that will disappear with use there's a slight pink, and I may not pick it up on you. There's a slight pinky tint to this, but that could be the the sort of chocolatey flavour scent. Maybe it smells beautiful. Don't eat too. That's nice. That's good enough for me. Okay, so I'm really excited about this because I don't know what to expect. Yeah, as I say, it's, uh, it's made of zinc alloy with the chrome plating. Uh, it's five ounces in weight, this razor, good weight to it. Um, and uh, apparently the magnets not only hold the head on and the blade tight, really good, very impressive actually. But they're supposed to make the blade a bit more... Um, have a bit more longevity in you so the only way you could prove that is to yourself if you have one um use a blade that you know you'd get three shaves of out of no matter what razor you use and use it in one of these i don't know for a fortnight for a month and if you get more than three shaves well you know it's working <laughs> so i don't know you know how true that is but I imagine there is something in the science there. So we'll heat the uh, the Mag T Delta 
two piece non adjustable open comb pole, yeah. Lather your face first. I'm only testing you. Um, I've got a few new products to show you um, I'm quite excited about a number of them I've just received a razor gifted to me uh, very kindly another one and this has come from Wales <laughs> thank you Keith I won't say what it is yet, if you're watching Keith, we'll uh, show them when it's uh, <laughs> when they use it next. I've got a shave to do, somebody's requested, but I'm waiting on some blades for that. So if that, if the blades come, I'll do that by Wednesday. If not, it'll have to go to next Sunday and I'll, you know, use the other products. And I've got an order coming from the States, which I bought. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. So. Here we go, the Mag T Delta Razor. Wow, first pass. And we're using the Gillette Nasset brand new blade. Well, it feels nice in the hand. I wasn't sure how it would feel, being the shape it is. Um, you can see, very nice. That's the angle for me. You soon find the angle, actually. And as I say, holding it the way I am is good for me. Uh, I'll try it. Like, holding it like that. Which is also fine. It's just that that's not my natural way of holding it. Wow, it's, it's good. Um, it is, how can I say, it is aggressive. You can feel the blade, I should say, it's a good blade exposure, but it's not in a, it's not of a, I'm going to put it in Merca Future Territory. But you can feel the blade. But it would be classed, I think, on the aggressive side. Very manoeuvrable. That dog has been barking for an hour. I don't know what's the matter with it. Lots of whiskers in the sink. Gorgeous scent to the. If you love chocolate, loves. If you love chocolate, you'd love that. Very nice. I think it. I could be wrong, and I'm probably going to be corrected if I am, but I, um, I'd probably say that is the same as the soap sent by Pearl Flexi, but I think it must be the same soap, same factory, but made with different labels for different artisans, companies, whatever, I expect. The only difference is this is a bigger tub. Lovely stuff, good soap, easy to lather, gorgeous scent. has a pinky tinge to it but it doesn't oh it's lovely really enjoying these smaller knots you might be asking why did you buy that brush when you got so many I just like the I just like the handle if it'll pick it up on here, but just like that. 
just love the pattern and the colour and the knot size and I ordered that and they sent a free um, little sort of sample of soap as well aloe vera I think shaving cream that was good like that here we go across the growth mag tea look at the messy delta razor so far feels super I suppose like any razor if you're worried about grip alum is your friend rub your fingers on alum and it'll grip to anything cross the growth no issues with overhang it's um as I say I love anything sort of unique different um, And this is certainly it. Magnetic, everything. And don't worry, you won't pull your fillings out. <laughs> or your gold teeth. Have you got any? Nicely balanced. I'm on a different dinner today. Oh, what's your shave of the day, please? Shave of the day, meal of the day. Always thank you so much for them. Um, listen to that. Oh, I've caught myself there. Lack of concentration. The um wow that's a good slick soap. And to be fair, it's not a strong scent, it's a just here now, you know that sort of that's nice, but it wouldn't linger, I don't think. Or it may do just a bit here later on, but it won't follow you downstairs. Um dinner's gonna be um, I I was gonna buy some yellow haddock or smoked haddock. And then next to it, I seen some fish which it had more of. Uh, Bassa, B A S A, um, which was double the amount and half the price, really. So I thought, I'll oh, chance that. See. So I'm going to um, steam that fish with some nice cracked pepper and maybe a bit of butter on it. Um, some ro Royal Jersey potatoes and some garden peas um, and parsley sauce. And that's going to be my uh, dinner. It's nice, something nice and light because uh, it's quite warm, quite uh, heading into summer, hopefully. Everything's growing lovely. So far. Tomatoes are flowering. Last year's. Scotch bonnet chilli plant has got three, four chilies. Very small, but they're there. Uh, this razor keeps very clean if you rinse it like I do. Open comb. Really nice, I'm very impressed. But as I say, I like stuff like this. Uh, that uh, attracts me, just the shape of it, the look of it. It's very futuristic again. It's uh, the head, no issues at all with that. It's there, so it's a very strong magnet, very, very strong. I don't even worry about that. I think where this grip, for me personally again, where it would um, really come into its own, is against the growth like here so you're holding very nice see I've cut oh I told you that it 
because I was hoping when I see a razor like this that uh, you know you see oh that's lovely I hope that shaves as good as, as it looks for me sort of thing and it certainly does so you can feel the blade on that As I say, it is aggressive, but it's um, a comfortable aggression. Uh, I don't think it's Merca Future aggressive. Wow, very efficient. Be interesting to see now. If um, how it does under the nose. That's all I need to know. Yeah, that's good. Wow, yeah. and not concentrating there. I mean, what time it is now? Very, very slick. Three, two, one, pick up time, baby. Brush performing nicely. Feels very soft. Uh, yet a nice backbone to it for lathering. Synthetic, issuing the soap out nicely, it's not keeping it to itself. <laughs> Here we go, pick up time. And even though this is aggressive, very light touch, but it's still bit me because I'm, as I say, I'm talking and it's a new razor for me. Um, but I feel very comfortable with it. Don't feel nervous or scared of it slipping or anything like that. Wow. All right, cold water rinse, and I'll just put a bit of a stick stick on that. Eh? Awesome. Right, just bear with me. If I can find it. Well, it's usually there. Oh, I see it. I'm too ahead of myself, it's already out. Leave that for a minute. Okay. Are you up to much this weekend? Hope you're working, many thanks. For your service. Now with this having a chocolate scent, I thought, well, what can I use? <laughs> so I'm just going to use one. I've got a new aftershave which I've bought and I want to show, show you and share with you. So um, I'll just put that stiptic pen there. Make sure that's out the way. There we go. And then this is the uh, Eucalyptus Homemade Witch Hazel. Oh, that's a lovely scent.
that uh, step the village out there. So apart from that, uh, and beans is a unique shaped razor, it's, it's new. Um, as I say, I loved it, the look of it, I love anything like this. It's heavy, it's different, it's futuristic, uh, it's aggressive, but not sort of over the top aggressive. It's not Merca Future aggressive for me either. Um, how would I place it? Setting one just below on the, on the future. You can feel the blade, but it's a comfortable aggression um, for me. I loved it. Uh, two piece, non adjustable. The handle was good. It feels nice in the hand, nicely balanced. The magnets work fantastically. There's no issues there with the head coming off, anything like that. Keeps the blade tight. Uh, it's quite a unique razor. So uh, thank you for sending me that. It's just a bit trainer. Very nice. So that's that. And then I bought it. Remember me, I went to Avon. Well, they come here. Avon calling and I got some of this um, Avon Mesmerize uh, aftershave for men beautiful stuff so um, should we put the cream of uh, I tell you what we'll put it back to front I'll put some Arco extra sensitive first and then I'll have the uh, scent will last slightly longer yeah that's not my nice, scent uh, Yeah, so if you're having a shave, I hope you have a good one or a meal, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, having a good weekend. So here we go Avon Mesmerize. That's another question. Somebody says, Oh, you've sprayed it on, don't you rub it in? You can, and some people spray in the hands and put it on. I've done it myself, but, but if it's a spray, usually I just leave it like that and a uh, bit for the old man <laughs> right so quickly what we used um, the mag t delta uh, razor chrome plated as i say five ounces in weight open comb aggressive razor magnet head and the good thing with that is when you take it off i'll do it in front of the camera the blade stays safely on very strong so it's fantastic so I'll take it apart now to clean and things um, I've shown you the thing haven't I yeah that's what it looks like Fanta I loved it so I really enjoyed it but check the website below you'll see all the specs on it and there's uh, they've got a YouTube channel I'll put that in um, check the videos they've got there just a few videos on different things especially on this razor so thank you for the let me try it. Mag, uh, mag, mag tea. That's why I get mixed up here. Global Shave Club Chocoholic Soap. Excellent scent. Easy to lather. Good slickness. Um, as I say, very much like the other one I tried. If it's not the same thing. Um, excellent soap. If you like chocolate, you'd love it. Worked well. Um, we've used the Edwin Jagger Imitation Tortoiseshell Handle. With a black synthetic knot, 21 millimeter, really nice, light, very light, and um, very soft. We used a fine bowl, fine porcelain lather bowl. Uh, we've used Welsh water to rinse, homemade eucalyptus, witch hazel. We've used Avon Mesmerize, it's a lovely scent. This, the two I've got from Avon, they're gorgeous scents. And if you're interested, they do last, um, I think I recorded something around four into five hours very faint then but for the price I'm quite happy with that four to five hours that's what it lasts me and I you know put some on to go to work or something I usually do that to see how long they uh, last or if somebody says oh that's nice well it's a good thing then and then Arco extra sensitive um, moisturizer very happy uh, at the end of the video now if you haven't seen enough of me I found a, um, a video by the Flash Mob Jazz um, YouTube channel and their sort of jazz group and they were singing Mr Sandman in a place called Grinder and Cutter in Brighton which is like a barber shop or it is a barber shop 
Now it's not just the song, they're very gifted singers, uh, it's a good song, but they sing in it in the barber shop. So a 1950s microphone, they're all done up, and you see all the scuttles and behind the leather chairs, just a glimpse of the, you know, the counter where, they, where you sit, and then the fella's doing a straight shave at the end, and stropping his razor on an old. So it's worth watching if you like, well, if you like the song, that's a bonus, but it's worth watching for the background and the, the shaving stuff. And, and if you're from Ram Brighton, maybe you know of it. Uh, Cutter and Grinder shop in Brighton. That's where they filmed the song. So uh, I'll put a link at the end of this when I say bye bye. The two videos should come up, and one of them hopefully will be that. So uh, just a bit of fun. I hope you enjoy it. So thanks for watching. Thanks to everybody uh, for your time, and I'll see you on. As I said, I'm not sure I'm using, I've got a lot of stuff coming in, um, so I'll be using something different and a requested video. So I'll see you on Wednesday. Stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you for the midweek shave. Bye bye.